By elections, often seen as sleepy affairs with predictable outcomes, have the potential to send shockwaves through the Canadian political landscape. These seemingly minor electoral events can sometimes act as a precursor to larger political shifts, offering a glimpse into the evolving sentiments of the electorate. They offer voters a unique opportunity to voice their satisfaction or dissatisfaction with the current government, without necessarily overturning the balance of power in Parliament. This makes by-elections a fascinating study in voter behaviour, as they can reflect the public's mood and priorities at a given moment in time. These electoral contests, though confined to specific ridings, can serve as a barometer of public sentiment, providing valuable insights into the prevailing political winds and foreshadowing potential shifts in the broader electoral map. They can highlight emerging issues that may dominate future political discourse and reveal the strengths and weaknesses of the parties involved. On September 17, 2024, two by-elections, one in Manitoba and the other in Quebec, captivated the nation's attention, delivering unexpected results that have left political analysts buzzing. These results were not just numbers on a board, they were indicative of deeper undercurrents within the Canadian political landscape. These by-elections, taking place against the backdrop of economic uncertainty and growing social anxieties, held particular significance. The economic challenges facing Canadians, from job security to inflation, were at the forefront of voters' minds, influencing their choices at the ballot box. Canadians, grappling with the rising cost of living, concerns about healthcare accessibility and the ongoing climate crisis, were eager to send a message to their elected officials. These issues, deeply personal and impactful, drove voter turnout and shaped the narratives of the campaigns. The stakes were high, as the outcomes had the potential to reshape the political narrative and influence the strategies of all major parties as they gear up for the next federal election. Political parties were keenly aware that the results could either validate their current strategies or necessitate a complete overhaul. Both the governing Liberals and the opposition parties viewed these by-elections as a crucial test of their respective strengths and weaknesses a chance to gauge public support and fine-tune their messages in anticipation of a future showdown on the national stage. The campaigns were intense, with each party striving to connect with voters on a personal level. The closely watched by-election in Elmwood, Transcona, a Winnipeg riding with a long history as a bellwether for national trends, became a battleground for the hearts and minds of working-class Canadians. This riding, known for its diverse demographic, provided a microcosm of the broader Canadian electorate. Meanwhile, the contest in La Salle, Emard Verdun, a traditionally liberal stronghold in Montreal, emerged as a test of the party's enduring appeal in Quebec, a province where they had made significant gains in recent elections. The outcome here was seen as a litmus test for the liberals' ability to maintain their foothold in a key region. As the campaigns reached their peak, political observers across the country were glued to their screens, eager to witness whether the results would reinforce the existing political order or signal a potential sea change in Canadian politics. The anticipation was palpable, with many speculating on the broader implications of the outcomes. The energy and enthusiasm surrounding these by-elections served as a potent reminder of the enduring power of democracy, even in the midst of a rapidly changing world. The active participation of citizens from all walks of life underscored the vibrancy of the democratic process. They underscored the importance of civic engagement and the vital role that every vote plays in shaping the future of the nation. Each ballot cast was a testament to the belief in the power of collective decision-making and the impact of individual voices. As Canadians cast their ballots, they did so with the knowledge that their voices mattered and that their choices would have a tangible impact on the direction of their communities and their country. The by-elections were a vivid illustration of the democratic principle that every vote counts and that the will of the people is the ultimate arbiter of political power. The results of the September 17th by-elections sent shockwaves through the Canadian political landscape, defying expectations and leaving political analysts and citizens alike in a state of surprise and contemplation. These unexpected outcomes have sparked a flurry of discussions and debates as the implications of these results could potentially reshape the future of Canadian politics. The by-elections, often seen as a barometer for public sentiment, have signaled a potential shift in the balance of power, 
hinting at changing tides in voter preferences and priorities. In a stunning upset, the New Democratic Party, or NDP, snatched victory from the Liberals in Elmwood, Transcona, a riding previously held by the governing party. This unexpected win has not only boosted the morale of the NDP, but also sent a clear message to the other political parties about the shifting dynamics within the electorate. This win, a testament to the NDP's enduring appeal among working-class Canadians, injected a much-needed dose of momentum into the party's ranks. The NDP's ability to connect with voters on issues that matter most to them, such as economic stability and social justice, has proven to be a significant factor in their success. Meanwhile, in La Salle, Emard Verdun, the Bloc Québécois solidified their dominance in Quebec, capturing the seat from the Liberals and reaffirming their status as a formidable force in the province. This victory underscores the Bloc's deep-rooted connection with Quebec voters and their ability to address the unique concerns of the province. The NDP's triumph in Elmwood, Transcona, a riding grappling with economic anxieties and concerns about the rising cost of living, highlighted the party's ability to connect with voters struggling to make ends meet. The NDP's campaign focused on addressing these pressing issues, resonating deeply with constituents who feel left behind by the current economic policies. The NDP's message of affordability and social justice resonated deeply with constituents, propelling their candidate to victory. This win is a clear indication that voters are seeking alternatives to the traditional parties, looking for leaders who can offer practical solutions to their everyday challenges. This win coming on the heels of a period of soul-searching within the party, breathed new life into the NDP's aspirations, positioning them as a viable alternative to both the Liberals and the Conservatives on the national stage. The NDP's renewed vigour and strategic focus on key issues have reinvigorated their base and attracted new supporters. The Bloc Québécois decisive win in La Salle, Emma, Verdun, a riding they had held in the past, underscored the party's enduring appeal in Quebec. The bloc's consistent advocacy for Quebec's interests and their ability to address the province's unique needs have solidified their position as a dominant political force. The bloc's unwavering focus on promoting Quebec's interests within the Canadian Federation continues to resonate strongly with voters in the province, solidifying their position as a dominant political force. This victory serves as a reminder of the importance of understanding and addressing regional concerns in a diverse country like Canada. This victory served as a stark reminder to the federal parties that any path to power in Canada must run through Quebec and that understanding the unique aspirations and concerns of Quebecers is paramount. The bloc's success highlights the need for federal parties to engage with Quebec voters and address their specific issues to gain their support. These by-election results, though confined to specific ridings, carry significant weight on the national stage. They provide valuable insights into the current political climate and voter sentiment, offering a glimpse into potential trends that could shape future elections. They suggest a potential vulnerability for the governing Liberals, particularly in areas where they had previously enjoyed strong support. The loss of these ridings indicates a shift in voter loyalty and a growing demand for change, which could have significant implications for the party's future strategies. The results also highlight the growing strength of both the NDP and the Bloc Québécois, positioning them as key players in the lead-up to the next federal election. These parties have demonstrated their ability to connect with voters and address their concerns, making them formidable contenders in the political arena. As the dust settles on these by-elections, all eyes will be on the major parties as they analyze the results, reassess their strategies, and prepare for the next chapter in Canadian politics. The outcomes of these by-elections have set the stage for an exciting and unpredictable political landscape, with all parties gearing up for the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. The by-elections have not only reshaped the political map, but also reinvigorated the democratic process, reminding citizens of the power of their vote. As political parties regroup and strategize, the engagement and participation of voters will continue to play a crucial role in shaping the future of Canadian politics. The voices of the electorate, reflected in these by-election results, underscore the importance of addressing the diverse needs and concerns of Canadians. 
From economic stability to social justice, the issues that matter most to voters will undoubtedly influence the direction of future political campaigns and policies. As we look ahead, the lessons learned from these by-elections will serve as a guide for political parties striving to connect with voters and earn their trust. The road to the next federal election promises to be a dynamic and closely watched journey, with each party vying to capture the hearts and minds of Canadians. In the end, the September 17th by-elections have not only altered the political landscape, but also reignited the spirit of democracy in Canada. The outcomes have set the stage for a new era of political engagement and competition, with all parties eager to build on their successes and address the challenges ahead. As the nation reflects on this night of upsets, the resilience and determination of the Canadian electorate shine through, reminding us all of the power of democracy and the importance of every vote. The journey ahead is filled with possibilities and the future of Canadian politics is more exciting and unpredictable.